shy i am shy the person not the adjective and i feel like it's been such a long time <laughs> since i've seen you how have you been how's your mama nim girl have you been drinking your water you look great anyway anyway so today is gonna be a bit of a different video we are gonna smash two things right on into one why? Because I don't have time. <laughs> I'm saying as I once again am filming on on the clock of my job. I am being paid right now to film this video <laughs> by my actual job. <laughs> I really need to stop outing myself in 4K. But anyway, so um, as the fall leaves are, are falling and adrift in, it is starting to get into tax season time, meaning that I in general, just have less time. I have had like a metric ton of work meetings. So with that being said, um, I have not been trading a lot. So I don't have a ton of mail. So we are going to just combine together. They're going to do a fusion dance. And we're going to combine my mail haul for this month with the sleeving photo cards that usually comes right after and you get a twofer. You're welcome. <laughs> So let's get into this mail. Okay, up first is we something that I bought, but they do have an Instagram, I think. Look at these cute stickers. <laughs> so cute. So this is their, this is them. This is them. <laughs> but I managed to buy these three cards, which I'm so excited about. So these two are the Make Star Emotion cards. Quite honestly, I'm just trying to trade for Hong Jun at this point. <laughs> like anything, I cannot find Hong Jun's equivalents. Like I have seen almost everybody else up for sale, but I have not found freaking Hong Jun. I literally have like three out of four of Song Hwa's and an extra Song Hwa before I can even find freaking Kung Jun. I paid three times what I paid for one of the Songhua cards for one of Hong Jun's. The one that I found for sale. I just snatched it up and it was over a hundred dollars and I don't want to speak about it. <laughs> I don't. I really don't. And like I literally still only have one of four of Hong Jun's and so I'm desperate. So when I saw these being sold for reasonable, I was like, please, please. So I have these two, and then I have one of Sung Hwa's that I'm gonna be putting up for trade. So if you have Hong Jun's emotion cards, please trade me. <laughs> please trade me. And then also they had this Jongo for sale, so I bought it for my best friend. This is the Apple Music Pop for the Work to Live version, which I don't even own yet, but I do know my pools, <laughs> and I did not pull Jongo. Um, and my best friend, she collects Yuno, Mingi, and Jongo. So I'm letting her have the Yuno and the Mingi that was pulled. And then I think we also pulled Sani and Yosang. So I'm taking those ones. And then I bought her a Jongo. So, yes. Beautiful, perfect, amazing purchase. Thank you so much to this person. <laughs> okay, next up. <gasps> this is another purchase. I bought him for $10. I swear, I have such good Ouyang luck sometimes. I just be browsing. It doesn't have, I'm pretty sure this was from Mercari because it has like no anything on it. But yeah, I was just like checking Mercari, desperately seeking out Hong Joon's that I feel like I will miss until the day I die. <laughs> I'm being dramatic. I'm being so dramatic. And then, yeah, somebody was like, oh, I'm selling this Ouyang for $10. This is his a -E card from Coachella. Yeah, these usually go for like 50 bucks. So I was like, well, for $10, <laughs> I will take him. I want him. Yes, that's my baby. So I bought Ouyang's Coachella a -E card. Oh, I'm so excited. He's so freaking gorgeous. Like, look at this man. Look at him. Love him so much. Thank you to the seller for selling things for reasonable. Okay, next up, next up. 
Oh, is this a trade trade or is this a wonder trade? Let me see. It says, hi, Shy. Here are some of the... Oh, oh my God! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I started yelling. I'm sorry. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Here are some of the Toronto ATD Zone PCs. <laughs> Okay, calmness, calmness. Uh, you mentioned in your video, I know you'll appreciate them more than me. So funny that we kept going back for these in line. <laughs> I'm happy they can make someone happy. I am so extremely happy. Like, oh my gosh. Thank you for your wonderful videos too. I always enjoy you. Take care. Hi, Ting from Marie. <laughs> Y'all. The way that I wanted freaking flimsy Canada Hongju. Like, I cannot express how much I genuinely wanted it. Like, I wanted it so bad. But, like, I didn't think I had any, like, Canadian mutuals who had it. So I was like, ah, you know, and, like, I was looking for it. Like, I was actually on Twitter for once where I never go because it's a cesspool. <laughs> nobody will convince me otherwise. And, like, nobody seemed to be selling them. And I was like... <laughs> Please give me flimsy Hong Joon. I love him so much. <laughs> I love him so much. Like, y'all don't understand. He's so flimsy. He's so see-through. And, like, so am I. Honestly, my immune system, y'all know, is, like, a complete and utter joke. Like, he's flimsy. I'm flimsy. <laughs> So he's going to be my carry around card, okay? Where I go, he goes. Do I ever go anywhere? No, but like, <laughs> he'll see the inside of a target. <laughs> I'm so beyond excited. Like, I'm genuinely so beyond excited. And I know it's weird because these cards were like, honestly terrible. But like, look at him. <laughs> oh my God, he's so big. I should not love this this much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Marie. You are literally the best. Oh my God. And you sent me some quite, oh my God. I can't even get him out because I can't bend him. <laughs> it's so flimsy. Oh, how are we going to get him out? <laughs> express how freaking tickled I am about these cards like I don't know I don't know I just identify so hard with it like <laughs> oh my oh my god <gasps> flimsy yosa <laughs> look how poorly cut it is <laughs> it just makes me love it more <laughs> oh my god he is literally see-through I can't like he looks solid but like when I hold him up to the light <laughs> It is dead ass see through. Hold on. This is my lantern. I always think it's in hyphen, but no, I got it from my work. It's very bright. <laughs> you can see the towards the light. <laughs> Look at him. He's so flimsy. <laughs> I freaking love him so much. I have to be so gentle. He's my baby. <laughs> Thank you. What were you thinking? Look at him. He is razor fucking thin. <laughs> Flimsy Yosa. Okay, now I have options. It's like, who do I want to carry with me? You are so sweet for this. Oh my gosh, I genuinely just thought you were going to send me Hongjun. And then Matt's like, and baby Yosa? <laughs> I'm about to live my best flimsy life. Y'all don't even know. Oh my god, there's two in here. <gasps> flimsy Jojo! <Jumbo! laughs> oh my god! He's about to fly away. I can't even shake him. <gasps> Do y'all see my flimsy kids? Look at my flimsy kids. I love them. I love them so much. I cannot express that enough. Like, <laughs> I think people might have thought that I was joking when I said that I wanted it, but I, I was not. I, in fact, really did want this. 
<laughs> thank you so much. I really can't say thank you enough. I love, I love my flimsy kids so much. I'm going to make them all different top loaders. And yeah, Hong Jun will come with me and the rest of my kids I will display. <laughs> And he sent me this cute note, too. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, next up, we have this unicorn. <gasps> Baby! Ooh! Okay, it says, hi, Shy. Thank you for trading. Please let me know when Jongo arrives. <gasps> and you had it! <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I get so surprised at the end of the month. <laughs> My memory should be better than this. It's not though. Oh my gosh. This is a trade for one of the Drongo Digipacks that I need. And also they have this honey that I needed. <laughs> Y'all, I'm not well. I'm genuinely not well. So Poco Market was doing like this free shipping thing. And like, I thought that was just going to be like the new thing. But of course not because capitalism. And they were like, oh, we're ending our free shipping promo at the end of the month. And I only had like 25 cards in my Poco Market. And I was like, oh my God, I need to get this to 40 and ship it. Because like technically... Shipping within Korea is only $4. So I was only technically saving $4. <laughs> but like, because <laughs> I usually ship it to my caddy. But I was like, oh, I can ship it directly to myself for free. Um, so I filled up my Poke Market order with Monster X cards. <laughs> and like, I just started crying because I missed him so much. <laughs> Look at him in his cute and simple. So I was literally just buying Jew Honey cards and crying in my bed <laughs> for an hour. <laughs> That's how I spend my days. That didn't need to be said, but oh my gosh, I'm so happy to have another Digipack card. I can't, I can't with these. We're having a comeback on November 15th and I can't even, <laughs> I can't. So this is the person that I traded with. Yes, so I'm so happy. I'm so happy to find Digipack card trades and they sent me these freebies. Oh, this is cute. We have a little EP world ep1 i can't just say ep1 because we have so many of them now <laughs> we have a little world ep1 group sticker we have a cinema roll oh you tune oh my gosh i love this photo of hong joon i'm sorry i literally eclipse everybody when i see hong joon <laughs> wow my bias is showing okay <laughs> we have cute baby you june we have a cute baby tiongi who i miss so much and then we have <laughs> Thank you so much for trading with me. Okay, next up. Oh, that was completely upside down. <laughs> okay, let's see. It says, Dear Shy, thank you so much for trading with me. I hope Vivi Jong all arrives safely. That is my baby. Please let me know when he does. I really, really love watching your videos and look forward to them. Glad to get the chance to trade with you. Stop, you're so sweet. Uh, so um, this person reached out to me. Is this, I think, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think this is Neo Tokyo Jongo. This person reached out to me and they were like, hey, first of all, you're saying Neo Tokyo correctly. And I was like, thank God. <laughs> Honestly, thank God. Because <laughs> real <laughs> touch and go there. But also, they had Neo Tokyo Drongo, and they were like, would you like him? And I was like, absolutely. Yes, that's not a question. <laughs> that's a statement. <laughs> so I ended up trading them, even though they wanted to gift him to me. I was like, please let me trade you. So we traded, and now I have cutie freaking Drongo. I'm so excited about him. Look at him. He's freaking gorgeous. Look at him. That's my baby. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. I'm just in a weep, weepy mood. Yes, the Neo Tokyo. Thank you so much for giving him to me. I really appreciate it. Oh! And of course, I will be keeping your sweet note. Thank you. Look at these cute pink freebies. I love cute pink things. <laughs> we have a kitty 
and a camera, these flowers. I love flower stickers. This cute bunny. <laughs> a yucca. Oh my gosh. And then Potako Koromi and my Melody. Thank you so much for these cute freebies. And next up, we have this freaking cute Hongjun card. Like, wow. <laughs> So many things. So this person made me a bracelet. Like, how do I how do I free you? Look at this. This is so beautiful. <laughs> this is going on my keychain board. Thank you so much. Did you hand make this? This is so beautiful. <laughs> oh, cute. But yes, it says hi shy. Thank you so much for trading with me. I love watching your videos and aspiring to be as successful as you and with an amazing collection. I hope Sani arrives safe from Mia. She traded me the last freaking Sani collect book card that I needed from Outlaw. From Outlaw! <laughs> I feel like, <laughs> am I successful? <laughs> Ah, I'm so excited about this because I recently got Jongo, I think last month and I was like I just need Sani but I was really not trying to pay $50 for Sani <laughs> and I don't know why he was $50 like even Songhua wasn't $50 I don't know what was up with this San card but she was like oh yeah I have him and I'm willing to trade and I was like oh my god you beautiful sweet angel you are perfect and amazing in every way and don't let anybody tell you otherwise <gasps> He's beautiful. Thank you. And these freaking freebies. First of all, this is an official card. <laughs> this is Hong Joon's Mito Stress Ball card. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Daras, I already pulled it, but like I was a little bit upset because the way I stored it, you can only see the back. So I'm going to start this. <laughs> it's gonna be a dupe that way you can see the front and the back of the card <laughs> i'm unhinged i really appreciate this thank you <laughs> oh my gosh not the heart jungrami oh my gosh he's so precious he's so precious the fever logo <laughs> cute cat boy hongjun or maybe fox boy i don't know ears or ears Stop, not the Wusan. Not the Wusan. These are the best stickers I've ever seen. <laughs> My baby. With the bear case on his phone. Stop. He's actually the cutest, and y'all just can't have him. You can't. <laughs> Purple hair, Jongo, who I actually freaking spoke to. We can't. We can't go back to those memories. We can't. <laughs> Lip ring, Hong Joon. Cute tiger boy, Hong Joon. And then a hollow golden hour card. That's so pretty. I kind of want to use it as a binder filler. Wow. Wow. These are top tier freebies. Like, I don't know where you got these freebies, but these freebies were freebieing. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and I will, of course, be keeping your sweet, sweet note. Okay. Next. <gasps> <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't have a lot of mail, but I got some exciting mail. Oh my God. Oh! Okay, it says, thank you so much for buying. I hope Hongi will bring you as much joy as your videos bring me. Stop! Best wishes from this at. No, because she's honestly the sweetest. She's honestly the sweetest. So this is Hong Joon's Mott card. Um, like Mott's, or not Mott's, Mott <laughs> t-shirt. Holographic card. The, that from the tour merge. It's so convoluted honestly it's so convoluted but basically I bought that shirt but I pulled Songhua and like I couldn't trade and so I was like I'll just buy Hongjun but people were selling him for crazy crazy and I was like okay now what do you mean I think like $180 I was like mm. Now, I've spent a pretty penny on a Hongjun before, but not a Hongjun that came with like a $60 t-shirt. Like, how is the card three times the price of the shirt? That doesn't make any sense. Like, 
be so for real. <laughs> so this person reached out to me and they were looking for, I think a mingi, don't quote me on that, don't quote me on that, <laughs> but, or like a bow card, like a mingi bow card that they wanted to trade for. And they were like, if I don't find a trade, you know, I'll, I'll sell him to you. And I was like, cool. Like if you make a post, like, please send it to me. I'll share it to my story. Like I have a lot of 18 mutuals. If that trade exists, like I'm, I'll help you find it. <laughs> um, but then she just ended up selling him to me. And I was like, no, I'll like, I will help you find a trade. Like, <laughs> I will help you. Let me love you. <laughs> um, and she was like, no, actually, I just want you to have him. So please like buy him from me. So that was the sweetest freaking thing that she let me buy from her for freaking reasonable. Like, I'm so appreciative. Like, y'all know it is always my goal in life to have every single home gene on this earth. Is it a rational and reasonable dream no no it's not <laughs> but I want it I can't help it so I now have his mult shirt PC as well which I think is the last one that I am missing I'm so happy he's so beautiful <laughs> I literally think every home gym card is the most beautiful <laughs> and she sent me this freebie so we have home Hong Jun's golden digipack sticker, <laughs> this beaver, a pink flower, and the chromer. Thank you so much. And of course, of course, I'm going to be keeping your sweet note. <laughs> okay, next up, next up. I like how shiny this card is. I'm a simple girl. <laughs> oh, I think it's a wonder trade. Okay, it says okay to read on camera. Okay. I will do just that. See, let's see. It says, hi, Shy. Thanks for the wonder trade. I have been watching you for a while and somehow missed that you collect you, honey. Honestly, since they get, went into the military, <laughs> I've kind of been avoiding my Monster X binders because it makes me weepy. Quite honestly, I do not have a healthy attachment to Monster X. Like, and it's, it's going to be bad when it's ADs. Like, it's going to be bad. But anyway... <laughs> I pulled these cards myself back in the day, which makes me feel old. <laughs> You're not old, stop. But I don't collect MX anymore, so I think they'll be better appreciated living with you. Thank you for being such a positive force in the community. Your joy and positivity literally radiates through the screen, and I always watch your videos after I had a bad day. Keep being you. Oh my gosh, that's so freaking sweet. Thank you, thank you. I hope your day is amazing. I hope your day is perfect and excellent and wonderful and you drink your water and you wear your sunscreen and you live your best life. <laughs> thank you for the sweet note. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, that just, you care about my fingers so much and I love you for it. <laughs> thank you for the taps. Especially since I cut my nails recently. Like, I've been struggling. I've been struggling. Okay. Let's see the photo card. One, two. <gasps> oh, my God. A <laughs> blue hair <and> water? <laughs> I really did not expect to see a water. <laughs> I don't even think I own any water cards because these cards are so expensive. <laughs> Because, like, he's so loved, which, like, fair and valid. This feels so, <laughs> I don't know, like, the ATD Destiny just is so real sometimes. I was just talking about Wano in my Storing Larger Inclusions video that I put out for my Shylantians. And <laughs> this just feels like true ATD Destiny. Like, I just feel extra ATD right now. <laughs> <laughs> that like that's the card you sent me through the wonder trade that is insane that is insane welcome home wano i'm so happy to see you and it's freaking blue hair wano like best wano in my opinion <laughs> unless there's a pink hair wano don't tell me about it i don't need to i don't need to weep about that okay let's see the second card one two <gasps> oh pretty baby oh he's so pretty <laughs> Why am I literally about to weep again? <laughs> Something about seeing him just like makes me so weepy. 
I just love him so, so, so much. He's the sweetest, softest, babyest angel that has ever been and will ever be. Like, I just love him so much. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the wonder trade. These will be in good hands with me. I will take absolute excellent care of them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's look at the freebie. So we've got Kiyu Cats, Kawaii Tokyo. We've got Kurobi, Bum Bum Pudding, and my Melody. This Monster X group card and logo. Oh, Sparkly Jongo! Sparkly Jongo! <laughs> I'm a simple girl. I am a simple girl. Oh my god. Y'all have the best freebies. Where do people get these from? <laughs> Oh, he's so beautiful. He's so beautiful. <laughs> Next up, we have this cute ombre pink card. I see a shiny home tune. <laughs> Let's see, this is a no, but let me... Okay, I think this is okay. Um, I know this person really well. They live pretty close to me. Okay, it says, hi, Shy. Thank you for trading with me again. No, thank you. Like these Digipack cards. I swear to God. <laughs> Uh, congratulations for passing your exam. Thank you. I recently watched your video where you talked about playing Fields of Mystria. And so I down I decided to download the game. Trust and believe. Like I I cannot wait for the freaking update that's going to be in a couple of months. Like I'm gonna romance the pants off of that indigo haired man and probably the dragon <laughs> and probably the girl at the end too. All three of them. I'm coming for you. <laughs> anyway, anyway, <laughs> in less than a week, I have so many game hours. I think it's sufficient to say I'm obsessed. So am I. While I play, I have your videos on in the background. You are so entertaining and always make me laugh. Thank you for being you from Allie. Allie, thank you so much for trading me, girly. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the sweet note. I love that you used that you need to use. Sticky note. This is so cute. Yes, Miss Allie traded me for the oh, <laughs> stickers. <laughs> so cute. Oh, an axolotl. So cute. Um, she traded me for, I think, yes, one of the Digipack cards that I'm just struggling, just on the struggle bus with. So I am so happy. I'm so appreciative. Thank you so much, Allie, for this beautiful Humjoon. I will, of course, take such good care of him. So this one was a trade slash go from one of my favorite golems, Hobie Juseo, aka Sapphire. So yes, we traded unit cards. So I now have this unit card. And then I also joined her go for a couple of home units. And I got some album cards. So this is the unit card that we traded for. I had a Mingi one that she needed and she traded me this cute Uyong and Yuno one because I'm trying to collect them all because I'm unhinged. I'm not well. <laughs> and then this is the Hongjun that I joined her go for. It's pink hair Hongjun with his little pink phone. <laughs> no words necessary. None. None at all. And then these are the three album cards that I got. I'm so happy because I am desperately missing the orange back cards as well so thank you so much sapphire okay next up oh surprise surprise oh oh a cat and bread <laughs> cat meme stickers oh it says hi shy thanks so much for doing this a wonder trade with me i love your vids and vibes keep your chin up and remember to smile always always from kinsey so yes, we did a wonder Oh! <gasps> Why am I getting the best wonder treats today? Oh my gosh. And this top loader? How? How? Is there two cards? <laughs> okay, let's rip off. Let's see. Let's see. One, two. <gasps> I'm really gonna weep. I need to stop. <laughs> I'm really gonna weep. We're gonna have to leave it on the tan side. 
This top loader, so pretty. Let me put it on here, so pretty. <laughs> this is gonna be a great display top loader. Wow, thank you, thank you. Where did you get this? And thank you, but also where did you get this? <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is one of the last cards I need to back collect Taehyun, which I said I wasn't going to do, but we all knew I was going to do. This is Blue Hour Taehyun, cute blondie Taehyun, and then we have another one of my feet too, honey. He needs to come out the military. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done and he needs to come out. Oh my gosh, and I will be saving your sweet note as well. Thank you so much for the wonder trade. Okay, and second to the last one, we have a Kevin card. Let's see, it says, Hi Shy, thank you so much for accepting this gift. I hope Jiung reaches you safely from Veronica. Oh, it's a gift, P.S. Love watching your YouTube videos so much. Oh, and the Zenitsu. <laughs> This is so cute. You sent me a gift. I, I really remember nothing in life. Nothing. I'm saving your cute, sweet note with Sunitsu. Oh my God. Dr. G. <laughs> no. And the tabs. Oh my. Two Jews? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh my God y'all i'm not well i'm truly not well i love him so much like i got into zb1 for my baby gonu but like do <laughs> honestly i feel like they're tied like i love them both so 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 much and like i'm gonna be devastated when they like go their separate ways <laughs> i'm gonna be devastated Oh my god, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, no. She won't come back, I promise. I promise to love you. These are so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, there's more. <laughs> I was like, okay, in freebies. There's more jokes. How many jokes did you send me? This is so sweet. This is so beyond freaking sweet. Oh my gosh. More jeans. No, because like, look at this man. Like, look. <laughs> He's so handsome. He's so handsome. <laughs> He's handsome. <laughs> he just is. This is so cute. Thank you so much. He is precious. Look at this adorable bear bag. Y'all are just cute. Y'all are just cute as, as a people, as a unit, <laughs> as a population. Y'all are just real cute. Look at, look at, look, <laughs> look at. I can't. No. My Sonny. Baby Sonny. I will also weep for baby Sonny, so let's not. <laughs> and then blonde Kevin in this cute penguin. Are these stickers? Oh, I see stars. I love stars. Stars and hearts and flowers and everything cute. <laughs> My packaging could literally never. Look at how cute. <laughs> Happy mail. That's so cute. These are such cute freebies. Thank you so, so, so much for the jewels and the freebies and the vibes. You're the best. Okay, and then the last thing I got in the mail was like a semi surprise and it and it has a backstory before I can show you. Like I can't even show you the back because you'll know immediately what it is and like I don't want to give anybody a heart attack. So y'all remember how I unboxed the 80s silver full towards the lat <laughs> when I tried really hard not to say full because nobody knows what I'm saying. <laughs> It's anything with O-I-L. O-I-L. <laughs> That's hard for me to say. Like full, tall, soul, <laughs> bowl, <laughs> anything with that. Anyway, 
So remember how, like I said that the company had emailed me and said that there was a manufacturing error and that the photo cards weren't included and that they were going to send them later. But then it turns out I was not affected by that. And all of mine had photo cards. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I didn't say anything. <laughs> I didn't say anything. So they just ended up sending me photo cards anyway. I guess they just sent them to everybody who ordered from their store. So <laughs> I have freaking OT8 of the 80s silver full towards the light freaking photo card set. I... <laughs> It may seem like I'm not freaking out, but it's because I freaked out so much that I'm trying to remain calm. And because, like, there's more. There's more. Not only, like, okay, so if my full things didn't have photo cards, I should have gotten three of this set and then one extra of the sparkling Hongjun. Because that would have been what I was missing if mine didn't have <laughs> the cards. <laughs> That's not what they sent me. They also freaking sent me OT8 of these, of these. Are you? <laughs> I'm going to just have to show y'all the clip where I was like freaking the freak out on my bed because this, this is insane because each of these to get one, you had to spend at minimum, at minimum, like $113. And then plus the shipping and everything like that, these are about like $130 to $150 photo cards, depending on where you bought it from. And I have a freaking OT8 set for free. For free. Will I be selling my extra Hongjun? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm gonna keep both. <laughs> like, I don't even know what to do about this. Not only do I have an extra of my fucking beautiful boy Kim Hong Joon. Look at him. He's beautiful. I have freaking Park Sung Won. I'm sorry. I'm just yelling. What do you mean? Oh my god. Look at this you know. He's so beautiful. I'm not well. Look at him. I'm not well. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> like this is not real. This isn't real. It can't be. It can't be. No. So yeah, I absolutely freaked out because in my go, I only got this Hongjun and then I got this mat set and like everything else went to my like go joiners and everything like that. So to have OT8 of both sets for free for free <laughs> in this economy <laughs> i'm so ecstatic i'm so ecstatic honestly these need to be double sleeve these need to be triple sleeve actually they need to be nova sleeve <laughs> which is basically a baby top loader um i'm so happy i'm so blessed i'm so grateful i do wish that jong ho matched every month <laughs> But that's okay. For free, I can overlook it. For free, not a problem. <laughs> anyway, anyway, okay, this has been it for opening mail. So now we will sleeve the photo cards. Okay, so welcome to the sleeving half of this video. So all of the sleeves I am going to be using are right here. So to double sleeve my AT's cards, I use Nova inner sleeves and then Dragon Shield outer sleeves. Psychers get sleeved in Popcorn Games orange. Everybody else gets sleeved in Popcorn Games green. And then my baby Taewon gets <laughs> her own special sleeve and it is the K-pop stationary kitty sleeve. So... <laughs> Let's start sorting and sleeving. So here is what we're working with. We only have, what, eight groups? <laughs> and we are back to status quo with ATs towering over literally everyone. But yes, I guess let's work from least amount of cards to most amount of cards. Well, <laughs> I sleeved Chaewon and thought I was filming, but... um. So 
the software update for the new iPhone, for the iPhones allows you now to like pause recordings without having to like stop and like make a whole nother video clip like it's kind of a way to just like pause and then you can like resume I guess kind of like you can do on TikTok I don't know I don't have TikTok I've never used it but I assume that's how it works um <laughs> so I use that and then like I press the same button that I used to pause it to like restart it but turns out that button was actually stopped and so it ended the clip and so I sleep Che Wan <laughs> the, the Yes, the long and the short is I sleep J1. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, I guess I'll just say what I said again, but with Psychers. <laughs> Psychers goes in the orange popcorn game sleeves. But yes, yeah, so <laughs> it feels so silly. So what I was saying before was I think I want to do what I'm gonna call hundred storing where I store one to 200 photo cards instead of my normal three to 500 story uh, photo cards. <laughs> How I ever get to that many is insane. Like every single month, that should not be my average, but it is. So tax season is coming up, which you all know is my busiest time where I have like the least amount of time to do anything else. And so instead of leaving you guys in a content desert, <laughs> which is what I normally do, I was like, okay, what if I could make just shorter videos, but still, you know, my normal content. So 100 storing was born. And I got that because <laughs> I feel like I store my photo cards super fast. Like, in the time that it takes me to store 300 to 500 cards, I've, normal people who are not unhinged store, like, 100, maybe 200 cards. <laughs> like, I was watching this, um, I was watching a girl, you know, recently with her collection, and she was, like, storing 120 photo cards. And I was like, yay! And it literally took her, like, an hour and a half. And I was like, girl, I could do the whole 300 in that time. Not that it's, like, a race or anything like that. It's just that I'm starting to notice, like, she she's normal. She's the average. <laughs> I just store things super duper fast because I have so much. We don't have time to dilly-dally. We don't. <laughs> we got to get a move on. We got to get the let out like today. So I was like, okay, maybe I could do, you know, 100 card storing, meaning 100 or 200 photo cards. And it be like maybe half an hour long videos which would be very manageable to film, edit, and upload with my busier schedule. Like, I'm working two 14-hour shifts on October 12th, no, October 13th, 14th, and 15th. I'm working three 12-hour shifts, or 14-hour shifts, sorry. <laughs> Not that it really, like that two hours, not much of a difference, but it's because there is a um, tax extension deadline. So if you file an extension for your taxes for individuals, deadline's October 15th. So that's just like a very busy time. <laughs> so I'm working 14 hours for leading up to that deadline. And I'm just like, I, I'm not going to have time for nothing. Like, no, I'm not going to have like a dedicated four hours to sit down and like film uninterrupted. <laughs> so I was thinking of just like doing this instead, but it won't be forever because I do enjoy like longer content, like as a, as a person, as a human, that's what I enjoy. So that's what I typically make, but I felt like this might be a good compromise I feel like the alternative to that would just be like nothing for three months and then <laughs> one super mega massive storing photo cards video. <laughs> um, 
with all of the stuff I have on the way and with AT's having a comeback in November as spoiled by Target. <laughs> Target gave us a heads up. They were like, hey, hey, November 15th. Hey, <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> I love that that's how we found out it was Target. <laughs> and then they took the listing down. I wonder if KQ was like, "Uh, uh don't tell them. We want them to have as little time to prepare their hearts and minds as possible. And wallets, oh my god. Um, yeah, with AT's coming back in November, and then all of the merch stuff that I have on the way, all of the hauls I have on the way, like I am really certain that video would dead ass be five hours long, minimum. Minimum. <laughs> would meaning that it would take me like at least seven hours, probably around eight. And that's if I went uninterrupted. I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> like my spine. Think of my spine. Because like you can't ever just like sit down and like film something and everything go right. I'm just I'm convinced that never happens. It's always oh I need to get up and get more sleeves or oh I forgot I had this card and it needs this special thing and like oh I need pages and binders and making sure everything's in frame and centered and <laughs> all of that there's just no way there's just no way that like I could sit down and film that and it take the exact amount of time that it would take edited like no that that would never happen <laughs> if that ever happened then like editing wouldn't be a thing okay we wouldn't need edit but anyway <laughs> All of that is to say that's that's the two options that we have is either one mega massive, which I would have to film over the course of like a few days when I had the time <laughs> and then edit it all together into one ginormous five hour video, which I know some of y'all would be like, sign me up. I'll do it. Yes. <laughs> or we just have like reasonable manageable I'm so glad this fits in a sleeve I put it in here thinking that it was but dang that is perfection okay um yeah or we just have reasonable manageable like 30 minute storing videos more frequently so you would probably get you know maybe two or three of those a month depending on like how many photo cards I have coming in because I won't really have any trades or anything I don't think I've already like kind of slowed down on trading as it is which is why you're getting this two in one video because I still wanted to make it pretty long for you guys so you know you know I'm doing my best I'm doing my best so that's what I'm thinking about is doing a 100 story series where I either store 100 or 200 photo cards quickly. Other than that, I have been, since I only do my all collection flip through once a year because that's all I can be bothered to do. And like, <laughs> I won't say that I hate doing it. I dislike it. I dislike it. <laughs> I like looking through all of my collections and revisiting everything, but my binders are heavy, okay? My binders are heavy, especially my fever binder, which I'm convinced weighs as much as a person. Like, I, you can't tell me otherwise. It weighs more than my cat. My fever binder is so heavy. It's like 30-something pounds. <laughs> it's a four inch and it is filled beyond what it should be like be safely filled as and yeah no <laughs> my fever binder is so enormous but anyway so yeah I usually talk about like my collection goals and things during that and since I don't do a six month you know collection flip through there's no like midpoint check-in for my goals so I just looked at it <laughs> this morning to see <laughs> how like everything was going and like when I make my goals video um for 2025 <laughs> like how that's gonna go and like um seeing you know what kind of goals like kind of thinking about what kind of goals 
I want to set for 2025 based on how my collecting was this year and how I'm feeling and how my collections are looking. You know, just trying to be mindful. All those things have some foresight. And I actually did really well on my goals. So my first one was to finish Beck Hyun's album cards and excluding his new album, excluding that because he literally just dropped that and I haven't even gotten my dang lucky draws. I'm going to film an unboxing. <laughs> I know it's so extremely late, but he is my old and I will be filming an unboxing. But like, I really wanted those K-Town lucky draws and they took so long to ship. Like they just shipped today, <laughs> today in fact. So they're not going to get to my caddy until like the end of the week. And then <laughs> once I forward that, like, oh, okay. But anyway, so I have finished all of his album cards besides his latest solo and I've already finished all of his other solos so I met my goal of like finishing all of Beckyun's album cards honestly by the end of the year I will have probably finished all of his current solo album cards as well just knowing me I love this album so much I love this album so much I went to buy everything I bought so many pops I was like oh I'm just gonna get a few pops I bought so many palms. <laughs> so many. You'll see. You'll see. But like, I forgot that I set that goal for myself. And I'm I'm honestly really proud. I'm really proud that I did it. My next goal was to just trade more, which is why I brought back the like mail haul videos. Because I used to do them and then I stopped doing them. When I started like buying more stuff than I traded. <laughs> so I wanted to like trade more. So I brought back the mail haul videos, which you guys seem to like. So I have been trading a whole lot more. And I love that for me. And we. I love that for you, me, and we. And then my next goal was to get a PO box, which I did do. And you guys have been sending me such sweet freaking letters. I love it. <laughs> I love it. So like three out of three so far doing well. So like goal four was to make my collections more aesthetic. Debatable. I say fail. <laughs> I don't think my collections are any more aesthetic than they were last year. <laughs> In fact, I think some binders might be worse. If we're being honest, I think some binders are worse this year than they were last year. Like, especially my 80s collections. They just did so much so quickly that, like, I had to expand and I didn't really have time to, like, make everything cute. And then when I did, I decided I wanted that big printer. And so now I got to save up for that big printer, which means I can't spend money at the print shop where I usually make my aesthetic fillers for 80s. So... <laughs> debatable but I think that one's a fail next up we have my teasers which go in my Nova and Dragon Shield Nova's only for things that need to be double sleeved aka it is expensive <laughs> Dragon Shield for just normal everyday ATs I feel like goal number five was also a fail because <laughs> goal number five was to standardize my ATs binders and that that has not happened in the slightest so thick this is such a pretty lenty I love it so much anyway um so like mm, honestly I need to move my T4 A5 I need to like redo that binder because it gets so full so quickly like <laughs> I need to just let the little binder go okay I just can't have small binders for 80s no matter who it is I I think I'm gonna be <laughs> I'm like really holding on to Songha's pink bunny binder just because I love it so much even though he has very clearly outgrown <laughs> binder. <laughs> like he he has definitely outgrown that binder and I'm just still keeping him in it out of stubbornness 
Um, I thought about moving him to the new Prism Platinum Bunny Binder, which, you know, same vibes. It's still pink, still bunny, but like the, the fuzzy pink bunny binder is so cute. And I just love it. <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> so then I was like, okay, maybe I'll keep Songhua's special cards in the bunny binder and then put like all the other ones and then I was like no because that's gonna encourage me to collect Songhua's special card which I don't need to do like raise your hand if you know <laughs> if you know damn well <laughs> that I will just start collecting expensive Songhua cards that I don't need to be collecting just because I have a place to put them like all your hands should be up. That's exactly what I would do. <laughs> like, mm -mm. He can't have anything special or I will fill it up like without hesitation. So <laughs> I don't know. What would I do? Because like I can't get rid of that binder. But like it's so Park Sung Hwa coated. Like it's so shy coated that I don't know what else I would put in there. But I can't get rid of it. So <laughs> in the meantime, we just have an overly full binder <laughs> but anyway so yeah I was supposed to standardize my 80s binders but like because I'm a shy that did not happen fail she pay <laughs> she pay fail last of like my collecting goals was to trade out of my trade and sale binder which mostly just means trade 80s things <laughs> And I feel like I did. Someone. I did pare down my trade sale binder quite a bit. So, you know, it's not empty. But I did get, like, rid of a lot of stuff. I say get rid of, but, like, <laughs> I really did trade, like, a lot of stuff away. And get, you know, things that I actually need and want to collect in return. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I should have bit like I should have put like get rid of 50% of stuff that way this would be a more clear goal because like technically I could have got rid of one card and called it a pass <laughs> it's like well yep less is less okay <laughs> monster x is seven and up is up I choose seven up because our member is seven member and up is up those kind of vibes so I don't know I'm gonna give myself a pass because I feel like I did well I have a tendency to just like hoard AD's cards, even though I already have them and have already collected them. I will hoard the dupes <laughs> and I have no reason to do so. I'm just like, I love this card so much that I have seven of them. That's crazy. That's a crazy thing. So I did pare down that a lot. So I'm going to give myself a pass on that one. So we only, we failed about 50% of the goal. <laughs> We failed like 50% of the goals, so, you know, it was a strong start. It was a strong start, but I just, I knew like the a e rumor mill is honestly really, really reliable. So when it was rumored that there was going to come, I think the rumor was that the comeback was going to be on November 10th, which was incorrect, but close. It was November 15th. Good job, Rumor Mill. You were so close. <laughs> but I think, like, it was still getting mixed up with birthday, which I keep forgetting about. I'm going to be so for real. I dead ass just keep forgetting that birthday is a thing that is about to come out <laughs> in, like, less than two weeks, actually. We're going to have a Japanese comeback with birthday. I just have not been paying too much attention to it. Um... Because I'm so behind on not okay that it's just, it's not even remotely funny at this point. Like, oh, <sighs> I mean, I'm not like, like I've started it at least. <laughs> so that's something. But like my Japanese binder for ATs looks like absolute garbage. Um, nothing's really set up. I didn't even really know like what I was going to do with the sets. Like. No thoughts. No thoughts, head empty, truly. <laughs> so I need to do that. I need to do a lot of binder maintenance. I just have not had the time. I just have not had the time. I say as I am literally filming on the clock, but like I promise I do actually do work sometimes. 
<laughs> Sometimes I do actually do work and like live life, but you know, when it's slow and I can take these moments, then I do. But anyway, so yeah, I just, ooh, I don't know what we're going to do about birthday. Japanese comebacks, I don't tend to stress about as much because JTNE got this. Like JTNE, they're going to they're gonna do all they can do for that comeback. I know they will. So like back collecting is usually pretty easy, which is why I haven't even been stressing about not okay. Like I finished not okay for Hongju. <laughs> The favoritism. <laughs> I finished Not Okay for Hongjun. I have every single album card, pop, benefit, lucky draw, sticker, like you name it, I have it. I finished him for Not Okay. This was actually the last one that I was looking for. Could not find that one for some reason. It was so weird. But um, everybody else, because I usually collect a few OT8 sets and then my top four for all album cards and then Hong Joon for literally everything under the sun. <laughs> Not news. Um, so yeah, I finished the sets that I was going to do, my OT8 sets, and I finished all of Hong Joon. I just need to get Song Hwa San and Jong Ho album cards and I just, they're not even expensive. I just haven't felt like buying them. I haven't felt like looking for them, like not at all. My AT's obsession lately has been unit cards. I just love the unit cards, especially, see, when I make a binder for something, I get so motivated for that collection. I'm like, oh my gosh, this binder's so cute. I want to expand it. Like, I want to complete it. <laughs> so because I made that cute unit card binder, which I am absolutely in love with. Now my obsession has been with unit cards. I mean, I've always loved unit cards, but I am like actually obsessed. Every day I'm looking for unit cards I don't have. <laughs> oh, also, if anybody sees the DMC unit cards, please tell me. Because I don't know why I did not order that fan sign. Usually I do. Well, it's not a fan sign. It's a lucky draw. And I thought I had ordered all of the lucky draws that had units because I knew they were going to be like hard and expensive later. And lo and behold, I didn't order this one and now it's hard and expensive. <laughs> and I really don't want to pay $400 for just the four units. Okay, I, I would not like to do that if at all possible. So if y'all see those DMC units, please let a shine know please. So yeah, as soon as I made that binder, I was like, okay, well, this is my life now. <laughs> I want to pour my all into making this the best unit card binder that ever did, you know, come into existence. So that is what I have been like working on and wanting to collect and looking for mostly for 80s. I mean, I still buy random things that are cute, like this wheel. So cute. Love him so much. <laughs> but for the most part, that's what I've been doing. And always, you know, I'm always looking for Hong Joon's. I did a lot of catching up on his Golden Hour because I didn't do pre-orders for Golden Hour. And I also didn't do any fan signs. And I'm honestly really glad that I didn't <laughs> because they have been so cheap and easy to find later. And I love that for me. Like, I don't think I have paid more than like $12 for a card that was a fan sign and a lot of them are like $5 $5 fan sign cards love that for me I really do um the lucky draws have been a bit more expensive I knew they were going to be I also didn't get the lucky draws that didn't have units <laughs> um some of them are a bit harder to find especially the later ones when basically everybody tapped out but that's that's fine because if I do find those, they probably won't be like astronomical. It'll probably be like $30, $40 at the most 60 which <laughs> is a lot, but I'm willing to pay it. Like, okay, for Hong Joon, sure, whatever. But the units, $100 each. <laughs> and there's four of them. And I have to have all of them because I'm unhinged. Oh, why do I have to be like this? Why couldn't I have been a solo stand? <laughs> That's a joke. That's a joke. 
Or if somebody's gonna take that out of context, but that's a joke. <laughs> Would never be an AT solo stand. Like, could you imagine? Ew. <laughs> But yeah, so that's what I'm not as worried at, about birthday as I am for golden hour part two. <laughs> like literally, I, I started getting like war flashbacks when I saw that listing. I was like, no, no target. No, take it back. I mean, technically they did take it back because they took the listing down. But like we already saw it, Target. We know. <laughs> ATD will screenshot in a heartbeat. You can't hide anything from us. <laughs> we screenshot first, ask questions later. So, oh, I I have been thinking about it and ruminating on it. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do a lot. So, <laughs> I say that, but like when I said the list to my friend out loud, I was like, okay, this sounds like a lot. This sounds like a lot. But okay, no, I'm only going to do only, okay, I'm only going to do <laughs> anything pink. If anybody has pink hair, because I don't know if um, whenever they filmed for this was still when Hong Joon had his pink hair. So if Hong Joon has pink hair, I'm going to go ahead and grab whatever, whatever pre-order, fan sign, lucky draw, whatever that is. I'm going to go ahead and get it. Because people have been kind of crazy about his pink hair cards. And I'm like, now y'all need to back on off my territory. Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. So um, if Hong Joon has pink hair, I'm going to get it. Plain and simple, I'm going to get it. Um, if there is anything hollow that is not a fan sign, I'm going to get that. I am going to do... Um, day one content, meaning that I will do some Target and Barnes and Noble albums for them. I will also be doing signed albums because <laughs> I can't miss a Hong Joon signed album. I, I can't. It's just, no, I would be devastated. Um, so I will still be doing the signed albums, meaning that I'm ordering from Hello 82, which is unfortunate, but hopefully whatever Hello 82 card they have is going to be in the freaking signed albums like it was for Psychers. Because I would not have collected nary a Hello 82 card for Psychers if they weren't in the signed albums. <laughs> so I'm hoping that they will be, but I don't know, Monster of Capitalism and all that. They know for 80s, we'll just go ahead and buy both. So if I have to buy from Hello 82 as well, I'll just be getting one for Hong Joon. Unless it's something pink, <laughs> unless it's something hollow, <laughs> or unless it, it, it's a unit. That's my other thing. Um, I will also be buying anything that comes with a unit card unless it is a fan sign because fan sign cards are cheap. Because people want to talk to 80s. Not me, but like other non-ruled by social anxiety people. <laughs> the normies. The normies want to talk to 80s. Us anxiety riddled girlies couldn't be us could not be us so um they'll they'll have the unit cards on that front covered and then they usually get sold for cheap to try to like make up some of the money that they had to spend so I'm really not worried about anything attached to a fan sign like I'm not gonna join any kind of fan sign nothing not doing it <laughs> it's not happening um I'm probably not gonna do any of the pre-orders again except for the signed album ones and Target, Barnes and Noble. I hope they don't do Amazon, but I guess Amazon too, if they do Amazon. If it's cute. <laughs> if it's cute. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just try to find Hong Joon later. I don't know. But yeah, with those with those caveats, not doing not doing much. <laughs> not doing anything. <laughs> That's so many caveats. I, I know. I'm aware. Okay. It's less than I normally do, which is literally everything. Okay. We're down from literally everything to just most things. <laughs> and that's an improvement. What is in Jong Wo's sleeve? No. Get out of there. It's for baby Jong Wo's only. But I think that's like the minimum that I can do. 
it's just that ATs are stressing me out with these never ending comebacks. Like I wouldn't mind having two to three comebacks a year if that's what they wanted to do. But one comeback that is six to seven months long and then another comeback, which I know was going to be just as long. We're doing too much. We're doing way too much. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just tired and I want to collect what I want to collect. You know, I've said this before, but I really just want to collect on my own time and in my own way and not on KQ capitalism time because KQ capitalism time is always on, always. And like with the amount of merch that they drop, like we have DVDs, we have Annie T's on ice. We're probably going to have more Mito merch. I know we're going to have like Golden Hour Part 2 Soundwave pop-up merch. Like <laughs> it's so much. It's so much and I'm so tired, especially because I'm the one who typically hosts for all these things, which I'm probably not going to be able to do because it's tax season coming up. Like, it's so exhausting. We went from one, maybe two merch drops a year and like a photo book drop to like all of this. It's just never ending. It's never ending and I love them all so much and I want to support them with my whole heart and wallet, but like they're, they're doing too much. They're doing too much. It's just exhausting. Even if I did have the money for all of this, which I kind of do if I wanted to be irresponsible. <laughs> oh, you know, I can always work a couple extra hours for ATs, but like it's just exhausting. It is exhausting keeping up with everything and that's how I was feeling in golden hour part one which is why I didn't do all of the pre-orders and all of the fan signs and I was like I'm just gonna do all of the lucky draws but then they dropped lucky draws for months on end it was never ending lucky draws every other day it was a freaking lucky draw and I was like kq <laughs> kq and like I don't like to be you know a complainer because at the end of the day, I love ATs and I want to have as much ATs as I can while I can. Because one day, they're going to retire. <laughs> like, just to be so for real, one day, they're going to be in the military. One day, they're going to retire. One day, they're going to no longer be ATs. And like, that's just life. But so I want to love them as much as I can while I can. But like, I'm tired. I'm I'm very tired. And I feel like a lot of Haitini are just as tired. I had to put my flimsy kids in the top order to protect them. I was so scared for them. <laughs> Let me take them out though. I don't even know if I can get them in the Nova sleeve without bending them. The Nova sleeve is so much stronger than them. Oh, Okay, it's so it's so thin, it just slides right in. Oh, it's a little bit too tall because of KQ not cutting it right. That's fine. That's fine. I love him anyway. That's fine. The dragon shield will just protect that part. <laughs> so flimsy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll never stop laughing about it. It's too funny to me. It's just too funny to me that they were like this is fine yeah let's do this <laughs> 18 you're gonna love it this one is so like <laughs> like the exact size but like he needs the reinforcement this is so nerve-wracking oh my god like they're cut so inconsistently <laughs> oh he fits in there i am not kidding perfectly i will never be able to get him out of this sleeve which is probably for the best because he's so flimsy like now he feels like a normal size photo card which is sad because the nova sleeves are so thick <laughs> like it usually feels like a lucky draw after i put a card in here but this is <laughs> so thin it literally just feels like a normal size photo card now but yeah no this is so exact like you can see he doesn't stick out of the top <laughs> This was so exactly cut to this size that I can never get it out now. I can never get it out. I wouldn't want to, but like if I did, wasn't going to happen. <laughs> and you can see like Hong Jun doesn't fit in his sleeve that way. Like there's a gap. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Everything about these is objectively terrible. <laughs> I just love it. Okay, let's see how this one's gonna go. <laughs> Yo, Sung, how are you cut? He looks thinner than Sunghwa. I think he'll fit a little bit better. Yeah, Yosang, they cut him a little bit thinner, but I think he's going to stick out of the top. <laughs> I have to be so careful because if I even slightly bend them, they're done for. <laughs> yeah, he's going to stick out of the top like Hongju, but that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Okay, then we just gotta get flimsy baby Jong-ho in here. Oh, he looks somewhat cut. Oh god, okay, hold on. Like, I will never be able to <laughs> get this Jong-ho out. <laughs> but he needs this protection, so again, fine with that. Fine with that. Oh my god. It's, it's the fact that these are official for me. <laughs> with that, I hope you guys had some fun sitting and chatting with me. I hope you guys are down for some hundred storing. And until the next time, I get such a flimsy 80s card that it brings me an inordinate amount of joy. Bye!